Hello everybody and welcome to Programming with Ruby, Episode 7, Arrays. I'm Tyler and this video is brought to you by manwithcode.com. Now, covered in this episode, I'm going to be telling you what arrays are, how you can create arrays in Ruby, how you access arrays, and how, uh, different ways of manipulating ar arrays by accessing them, iterating over them, and I will also be showing you other useful methods that arrays have. So, let's get started, shall we? Arrays are a type of variable. Think of a Think of it as a list. This list can hold anything, names, numbers, objects, anything. Objects in the array have a number, depending on what place they are in the list. Now, because computers start counting at zero, not one, the first element in the array is at zero. So, keep that in mind. Now, on to some code. Array creation. Uh, X is our variable. Oops, sorry. I need to open up Interactive Ruby. X is going to be our variable. It's going to be an array. You define an array with the square brackets. The left square bracket starts the array, and the right square bracket ends the array. Now, this is an empty array. Let's create one with something in it. I'm going to call it to do list. I'm going to have to cut the grass, buy some food because we're very hungry. I'm also going to have to fix my other computer. Now, as you can see, each element in the array is sep yeah, is separated by a comma. And, of course, the square brackets start and end the array. Alright, now, now that you have created an array, it would be very useful to be able to access it. So, since they are numbered sequentially, Starting at zero, the first element in the array, cut grass, would be at zero. And try that out, and it is indeed at zero. We can do that again and look at the second element. Now, you can add elements to the array in a similar way. To do list, add element number three. And I want to go skydiving, so put that on the to do list. And if we look at, look at the list, there it is, added in. Place number three. We can also add it in a similar way to how you add to numbers. You know, if you have, I don't know, a variable that a that equals two, and then we do plus equals five. Now it's seven, and you can do something similar with an array. You can do to do list plus equals. Oh, I don't know. Eat sandwich. And there you go. And it has to be in the brackets. I'm not 100% sure why, but just don't forget that. Keep that in mind. Now, let's say you want to get a group or yeah, a group of elements in the array from starting from a certain index number and going to a different index number. And these are called ranges and this is how you use them. So we're going to do to do oops, to do list left square bracket and I want to start at zero and go to element number two, so you do zero dot dot two. And there we go, we have cut grass, buy food, and fix computer. Now, negative one denotes the end of the array, like zero is the first element in the array. So if we did something like to do list three dot dot negative one, we get, yeah, we get element number three to the end of the array which is go, go skydiving and eat sandwich. Now, on to the next item and what you're going to learn today is array iteration. So if you want to loop over each element of the array you can use the each method. So to do list dot. No, actually, I'm going to create a new array. Numbers one, two, three, four, and there are numbers so we do numbers dot each do number. What will happen? We're going to print out the number times two. And there we go, two, four, six, eight. Very nice. You can also do the same thing but turn the output into an array. So if we did and you use the collect method for this, so numbers dot collect do number and then you just do number times two and and we get an array that says two four six eight now other array methods now here's some 
useful array methods. Uh, dot empty tells you if the array is empty. In this case, it's not, but if I check the X array I made early, it is in fact empty. Sort sorts the array alphabetically. So let's say I want to have to-do sort. I'm sorry, that should be to-do list. To-do list, and there we go. There's my to-do list sorted alphabetically. Uh, reverse reverses it, so if I do numbers.reverse, there we go, 4, 3, 2, 1. Delete deletes a specified item from the array, so numbers.delete2. And if you look at the numbers array again, we only have 1, 3, 4. Delete at deletes at a specified point, so numbers dot uh, delete at next position one, and now numbers is just one and four. Find finds an item with the specified value, so to do this dot find by food, and it gives us a what you call it that we can loop over. Also, I believe, if I'm correct, you can use regular expressions there. Um, let's see. Inspect is when you're printing something out, when you do put s to do list to print it out to the screen, it gives you this output. But if you want to know what it would look like if you defined it in code, you use the inspect method, which is to do, which would be put s to do list dot inspect which shows you how it would look if you had entered that in code. Which is very useful sometimes, especially when you're dealing with something that's an empty string, so when it put, prints it out, you can't actually tell it's empty because there's nothing there. And the last fun, uh, the last method is length. So to do this dot length, and we have five elements in that array. And that is actually it for today's episode. So. Do not forget to donate. There should be a link to the right of the video in the video description, or there should be a little button. Um, and if you have any questions or comments about anything, these videos, the website, anything, you can leave a comment on this page, or you can email me at tyler at manwithcode.com. Thank you oh so much for watching. Goodbye.